Hey guys, um, I just actually left a place called Furman uh, Dodge. They're here in, uh, I guess I'm in Newport Ritchie, Florida. And I went actually there and don't bother about going there because they told me that they don't care about what I'm about to tell you because they don't have a performance department. So evidently they won't be interested. But um, what the news broke today, and I just kind of want to put this out there uh, and check with your local Dodge dealer. Maybe they are interested in actually selling something uh, right now. But um, the uh, there's news right now that uh, Dodge, who, I don't know if you know, they've been selling rollers. Uh, you know what a roller is. If you don't, it's basically a body, um, trans, it's body minus the powertrain. It has the rear end. It has, um, the frame and everything on it. And I'll give you some more details. You can buy a roller, basically an NHRA roller right now of their, uh, Challenger. Um, and their, the news today is a that they're going to keep selling these. They're about eighty-nine thousand, and they have everything except for the engine and transmission. They've got the roll cage in it. They're called white bodies. If you don't know what a white body is, then you can look this up on the internet. But it's called a white body because they come white, and it's basically what if you think about what uh, factory-sponsored teams get, where they get those, and then you they're set up to have a Hemi, and they're set up for the torque flights or whatever you're going to put in them. But they come with a narrowed rear end. Uh, they come, I think st the, these come with a strange rear end, narrowed. They come with everything you need except for the engine transmission, pretty much, and a couple interior parts. But it does have an NHRA frame that's normally good up until about seven and a half seconds. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're probably not the person buying those. But the big, big news that came out today and is being reported by Reuters and some others. Uh, and today is uh, the 16th of August. And the big news with these are that um, they're also gonna come out with the a carbon fiber shell of 1970 Challengers and Barracudas. So it's being reported on the internet through Reuters and some other news agencies that uh, they're not available now, but because they are going to discontinue the Chargers and discontinue the uh, Challenger, that they will be offering um, these carbon fiber bodies for people who need them uh, and want to build cars. And they're going to be white bodies, so a whole 1970, um, 1970 Charger and the, the CUDA and this way they're gonna start, because they have a much better uh, process and a better production facility than most of your aftermarket places, they are going to build those. So that's really big news. And I just kind of wanted to put it out there. I went, like I said, I'm up here visiting. I went to the local Dodge dealer. I said your name, I don't even know what it is now. And I wanted to talk to their parts department about how to order them off through Dodge Performance. And they go, well, we don't have a performance department, so it's not something we would know about. And I'm like, well, I'm showing you and I'm telling you, and here's the news and they didn't care. So I think their name was Furman. So anyway, you're probably gonna have to go someplace that cares, which is somebody who has a performance um department because they're going to go into um they're going to be doing uh something because everybody's going to the electric vehicles and since basically dodge has known for performance especially now and they're going to be offering those what eight i think there's eight or nine different um challengers next year and charger packages they haven't named them they haven't revealed them i think they're going to reveal them at uh, one of the big events um, but uh, they haven't revealed them yet they just said they're going to be revealing a bunch of packages and paint packages and everything else uh, because next year will be the last year for the Challenger and the Charger and to keep because they are known for Hemis and everything else to keep the um, the performance going they're going to be offering like I said uh, they already offer the roller it's like 89 grand but 
uh, they will be offering what they're saying in the in the news release was they're going to be offering uh, the 1970 CUDA, the 1970 Charger bodies, and then they're going to come out with more bodies uh, that are carbon fiber from Chrysler Dodge. Uh, so they're going to be factory bodies. So if you need to put replacement bodies on your vehicles, you'll have a full body kit to do that. Anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, if you're somebody that's doing that, and I think that's something that you're going to see a lot more car manufacturers be doing in the future is getting back into, uh, that because they have the manufacturing capability and let's be honest, uh, we all love the old cars. That's why we watch this channel. That's why I make this channel. And, um, you know, I will never be driving an electric car. I can just tell you right now, I'm not going to drive an electric car and there always is going to be fuel because until they have airplanes and ships and other things that run on something alternative there's nuclear but they're never going to use nuclear um for passenger ships they tried it with the i think it was the uss united states or something there was one nuclear powered ship years ago uh but i mean i'm ex-navy i know aircraft carriers use them i know subs use them but uh there hasn't really been much for other surface ships that are smaller anyway so um, I just wanted to kind of talk to you, let you know what was going on in the car world. And that's one of the things. Now, I think that may also have to do with the fact that, as I spoke about a couple months ago, uh, there was some change in federal laws that allows small manufacturers, like the guys that make Cobras and stuff, the kit cars, that before they used to only have to make one off, but then they changed it. So now they can make smaller ones without having to put everything through crash tests and everything. So... Uh, you know, my, if you might want to start building model cars now because I think in the future, if you want to have a muscle car, uh, unless you have the money to buy some of these muscle cars, which are crazy expensive anymore, um, you're going to have to build your own. And I think a lot of these manufacturers can see the profit in supplying the parts. Anyway, um, that's all uh, for today. Today, I said it was uh, August 16th, 2022. And I just want to give you guys a little bit of heads up on that. So uh, if you want more information, look it up. It's, it's just breaking on the internet today. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean. And I'm Sean. April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. Where it says merchandise store, right here, merchandise store link, you will see it says HTTPS forward slash junkyards dash bar dash barn dash finds, and you click on that, and it's going to take you here.